Imagine this, you have a website and you're looking to add a splash of life to it. That's where Lottie comes in. Lottie, in simple terms, is a unique kind of animation crafted from code, bringing life to every shape, color, and movement. The best part, no coding expertise needed. Lottie transforms your After Effects animations into small, easily shareable files that blend smoothly into the web and other platforms. So then, why use motion? Motion is a vibrant form of animation that breathes life into static objects. Making your content stand out captures attention and helps tell your story in an unforgettable way. Studies have shown that the use of motion boosts overall user engagement and conversions. It helps create an emotional bond with your audience, drawing them and keeping them engaged. In today's world, motion is the future of design and Lottie Files is here to make it easy for you. Hey everyone, my name is Adrian and I'm a motion designer here in Lottie Files. In this tutorial, we'll dive into the fun process of creating, sharing and implementing Lottie animations. We'll spotlight key features on the Lottie Files platform that will make your motion workflow more efficient and effortless. Now, you might be wondering about the connection between Lottie and Lottie Files. Simply put, Lottie is the animation file format while Lottie Files is the powerhouse platform, community, and company that's making all this compact animation file format possible. Lottie also offers developer-friendly APIs and libraries, providing great control of over-animation for unique and dynamic experiences. Me, as a motion designer, I use After Effects to craft eye-catching animations, and thanks to Lottie, I export these animations and bring them to life on my websites and apps without any hassle. Just follow the link provided below to download and install our AE plugin. Once you've successfully done that, we can jump right into the really fun part. For my current project, I'm developing a personal website and my goal was to infuse it with animated graphics to make it truly extraordinary, setting it apart from all the competition. Together, we'll tackle something fundamental yet impactful, like animating a button. I'll guide you through how the Lottie Files for After Effects plugin can streamline your workflow and make all things incredibly simple. Here you can see my composition is prepped and segmented into layers. It's always beneficial to strategize your animation process, considering how you envision it appearing in various states, like default, hover, and click. For our current venture, our focus will be on infusing life into the hover state of a button. When the mouse cursor sweeps over it, we want the button to burst into an exciting animation nudging users to click it. Now, let's get our hands dirty with After Effects. Here are my composition settings. To ensure my animations glide as smoothly as possible, I've set it to 60 frames per second. We'll be using elementary After Effects properties like position, scale, rotation, opacity, and path animation, which allows us great control over the animation's nuance. While creating lotty animations, it's advisable to steer clear of weighty effects that might not convert well into code. To add a dash of flair to our animation, I'll experiment with speed graph, lending the animation more dynamism and appeal. Now I'm satisfied with the look of this animation, so it's time to export. With our Lottie Files plugin installed, I simply head to the Windows tab, click here, and a new window pops up. I'll find my composition, and by clicking on the gear icon, I'll open up more export settings. If you've used rasterized images like JPEG or PNG, check this box right here. It will incorporate those files into your animation. If everything checks out, it's time to hit render. Let the animation render for a moment, and then you can preview it here. This looks great to me. So let's scroll down to the feature support checker. The goal is to have all these boxes checked. This tool enables us to pinpoint any issues with the animation and ensure compatibility with the intended platform. It's a handy feature for creators to minimize the back and forth with stakeholders or clients. If everything is in order, you can download your animation as .json or .lottie. I'll go ahead and upload this to my Lottie Files workspace. The workspace is your personal vault where you and your team can access all files. Think of it as a private collaboration hub. We'll delve into that in more detail in a short bit. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what is the difference between Lottie Files plugin 
and body movement. They are both great in their own ways. But some of the things I appreciate about the Lorifiles AE plugin is the animation preview and the feature checker. The preview allows me to visually check for any errors in the animation and the feature checker helps me dive deep into some issues that you actually can't see, allowing me to correct them before shipping it. Psst. Want to know how to work best with Lotties? Well, it's no secret. Here are some tips I keep in mind when animating a Lottie. Number one, keep your composition neat by removing unwanted layers and properties such as merge layers, duplicated paths, strokes, and any other properties. Number two, more keyframes means more data, and that translates to bigger file sizes. So utilize the speed graph to avoid using too many keyframes. Number three, similarly, clean up your path points because things like this adds to the file size. If you have any other useful tips, please do share them in the comments below. I hope you're finding this helpful. If you're looking to take up your animation skills to the next level, be sure to check out School of Motion's Animation Bootcamp. And if you're already comfortable with animation, but you want to improve your design skills, the Design Bootcamp course is a great resource. Links to both courses can be found in the description below. Now, let's go talk about the Lottie Files platform. Head on to www.lottiefiles.com and I'm going to my dashboard here. Just imagine having something like Frame.io where you can drop comments, review, preview, and set statuses for your Lottie animations. It's a space the team has mindfully designed to ease collaboration pains and make the reviewing process as fun and simple as possible. Let me take you on a tour. On the left panel here is where you can organize your motion files. Now, repeat after me. A good clean workspace is a happy workplace. Here in your projects, you can create folders to keep things nice and tidy so that you and your team can easily access them. Easy? That's how we've created it to be. So now, let's talk about file size. For animations to play buttery smooth on your web or app, it has to be as small as it can be. So let's take a look how we can optimize our file size to significantly reduce its size. I'm going to click on this download icon and I'm presented with a few export options. Optimize Lottie JSON file is a JSON file that has been reduced in its size without affecting its quality. You want to take it to the next level, we have .lottie and Optimize .lottie, a compressed format that is significantly smaller than the Lottie JSON file. Think of it this way, an mp4 is giant endman, normal size endman is gif, and size endman is lot json, and quantum size endman is lot body. I think you got the idea. If you're liking what we have so far, good. But hey, we're not done yet. You can also make changes to your lottie animations without going back to After Effects. You don't have to reopen your After Effects file and go through that process again. Instead, you can personalize, customize, and make changes to your animations and use your custom brand colors. Or you can use some of our presets that we in the team have beautifully created for your use. If you need customizing features, head on to this icon to use our Lottie editor. Here, you have the ability to select layers specifically in your animation and do some custom edits like changing colors, reorganizing their hierarchies, or even hide them. Now, if you're happy with the way it looks, just click Save. You can also export your animations in other formats such as GIFs, MP4, MOV, and WebM, with alpha channels for MOV and WebM in different size specifications to your liking. Collaborations has not been easier with our Lottie Files platform. You can easily invite team members to collaborate and manage all assets in your workspace. And then with comments, anyone can share their feedback on your Lottie animations. You can also reply to their comments. Comments allows you to leave feedback on specific parts of your animation. With this, each team member will have full clarity on the feedback process. If everything is good, you can go right ahead and change the status to indicate the status of the animation. If you're working with a developer, we've carefully thought about that process as well. Simply click on this icon to enable asset link here and share the links to your developer and let them work their magic. 
I trust you found this video insightful and beneficial. Remember, even if you're not a motion designer, but require dynamic animations for your project, www.lottifast.com is your go-to destination. With an extensive collection of over 80,000 free, ready-to-use animations for every industry and reuse case imaginable. With over 200 free animations added daily, you can be assured that the library remains up to date for all your design needs. In our continuous effort to enhance your animation creation experience, we are developing an innovative tool, the Lodi Creator, designed to redefine how you create micro animations. You can join the waitlist for the Lodi Creator with the link provided in the description below. We're eager to hear your thoughts on the course, so feel free to drop a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to School of Motion and also the Lodi Files channel for more enriching and cool content. Till then, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.